So September 22nd, we announced that Progressive Planet had provided you guys some samples and oh, yeah. it showed some incredible or incremental strength benefits to you guys' process. Absolutely. I think what we're seeing here today is that while that was done in the lab, it's not like this is years off. These are can no. go into products that are really being made today. No, it's not an abstract concept. Um, and actually, we just broke a record. We had over 100 MPA cement strength on a day seven sample, um, which was a new record to us. And that's huge because our panels, as you see here, are structural. And we're looking at making not only a lower carbon footprint cement, but using less cement and therefore being a better and more efficient product. Mm -hmm. One of the nice things about our product too is that because we're quite a bit lighter than say a precast panel or something like that, we can fit a lot more panels on a single truck, as you know. Yeah, so, I saw I saw when we walked in, two of your guys just picked up one of these and carried it, right? And oh I, yeah. I just about fell over because I'm used to watching the concrete industry where they got big cranes and they're picking up big panels, right? So this is the same market that you're going into. Exactly. But exactly. you're able to do it where guys are able to just lift it up and carry it, right? A hundred percent. And so where a precast panel, you can maybe fit two on a truck, maybe a hundred square feet. We can fit about 5,000 square feet on a panel. And so all of a sudden our geographic region that we can service is massive. Yeah. And so we can start to quote projects that are in Florida, in Alaska, and still be competitive with the transportation cost. Yeah, not, not only cost too, but the environmental benefit, right? All those trucks off the road. Exactly. And now with pause gas, we're using 25% less materials that are you know, commercially produced. We're using a waste product. Um, and so not only are we bringing our costs down, but uh, it's making our products way stronger. It's, it's a, really a win-win. Yeah, so these obviously there's the mitigation side of putting pause glass in there, reducing the 25%. Um, but you guys are also involved at the X Prize. Uh, why don't you talk a little bit about the exciting things that you guys are doing there too? Yeah, so right here, actually through that wall right there, we're gonna be piloting our DAC facility. So that's a direct air capture facility where we're taking CO2 directly from the air, infusing it with a combination of your guys' product and our already produced cement products and making an even lower carbon footprint cement. And the goal is a carbon negative cement. Wow. Uh, so this would be a huge thing for an industry that's only behind really the oil and gas sector as far as carbon intensity. Yeah, yeah, and us included, right? We're producing 300 tons a month out of our stack. And Absolutely. we want to use this technology as well. And with Paws Glass 100G, uh, to be able to put that into the, a concrete product as well. 100%. And CO2, the question is always, what do you do with it? Capturing it, not that hard. You need an end case. Pause glass, power cement, perfect. Yeah. Yeah, and so right now we're building about uh, six, six days a week um, and we're accepting orders. Uh, so pre sale orders on our new product with Pause Glass. Uh, so I encourage anyone to reach out to us. And, uh, and look, if you want to build a cinder block wall or you want a more resilient structure that's built from cement, um, you need to contact us, the two of us, because we have the solution that's yeah. lower carbon intensity. Well, and to your point, that's why you know, you're, you're sending products all over the world. That's why you're sending them down south in the US because it's really the, the places down there and uh, near the coast that they're feeling the effects of climate change so much, right? Exactly. Um, and your product obviously helps solve that. That's right. We want to use more cement, but we need to use less CO2. And so these two ideas are in conflict until you start to look at products like pause glass and other innovative ways we can look at cement. Mm -hmm. And that's really what we're trying to sell. So obviously we saw in the press release that you guys are scaling up um, through some of these X prizes and different grants you guys are applying for. Um, you're selling product right now yeah. all over North America, but you want to do more to increase your impact on what you guys are doing. So obviously we're 25% of what you guys are putting in. Uh, we announced in the press release that the phase one would be a couple thousand tons. Exactly. And then phase two would be, you know, up to 20,000 or more tons uh, at that scale, if you want to touch on that. Yeah, definitely. So the space that you're seeing right now, we doubled in size four months ago, and we are now doubling in size to the space next door again. So that'll be an additional 27,000 square feet. That's exactly where Progressive Planet's products are gonna show up every day. One of the critical things that we didn't realize is we actually have to move finished product out almost as quickly as it's arriving. So we're seeing massive amounts of truck planning going into this facility so that we can accommodate a Progressive Planet truck showing up maybe once a week with you know, 25, 50 tons of product. 
Um, and that's what we're gonna be using for our pilot plant here uh, next door. And so this facility here will look dramatically different come Christmas time, mm -hmm. um, which is crazy because we just moved into here yeah. in, uh, in March. Um, oh, well, the last time I was here it was half of this, right? So like you said, uh, you just doubled and it's exciting to see how fast you're growing and it just speaks to the importance of these products and how the market's taking them already. Exactly. We've, we've gone from looking for early adopters now to a lot of repeat business. And it was hard to get those what we call brochure babies, where people look at you and they're like, OK, what have you done? Now we've got those proof projects out there. They're seeing that these products work. They're seeing that they make a difference. And people yeah. are like, well, why haven't I heard of you guys before? And you're like, well, we're only two years old. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's it's amazing to see how fast you guys have grown from, I assume, lab to yes. a team of the same size as us, That's basically about 50 people. Is that what you guys are up to now? 100%. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's incredible. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and so our commercial plant, you know, people think you're kind of crazy to plant a pilot plant and a commercial plant at the same time, but you have to. Yeah. It's going that quickly. And yeah. so, you know, it could be 10 trucks a week here in the not too distant future. Well, and not yeah. only, you know, pilot plant, commercial plant, but yeah, you gotta, you gotta plan the next plant after that, right? Because we know how big this market is. Obviously, concrete industry is the second most consumed material in the world, 100%. concrete is, after fresh water. So yeah. um, if we're gonna now go after, you know, wood frame construction on top of that, that's, that makes that market even bigger. Yeah, and then, you know, the fire rating of it as well, right? Some of these natural disasters, the increasing natural disasters that we see through climate change just makes these products even more important, right? 100%. 100%. You're, you're spot on. I mean, uh, you know, whether the, the planet's on fire and then the next uh, month it's flooding, it's, uh, you know, we can't keep building structures uh, again every couple of years mm -hmm. because it makes the CO2 uh, accounting pretty difficult. And, uh, you know, it's dramatic for, for communities. We need more resilient communities that uh, aren't decimated by these, these uh, infrequent uh, storms. And so uh, we see cement and these types of products is is a critical component of those solutions. Yeah. Uh, that's why, uh, you know, we're going to be producing these things, I think, for a long time here. Yeah, no, I agree. And we're, we're so excited to be a strategic partner with ZS2, obviously, so that we can help make the world a better place along with you guys. So absolutely, absolutely. Well, yeah, building it a better, a better planet. There you go. <laughs>